This morning I went to Kuala Baram wetlands on the north coast of Miri in Sarawak and uh, unusually it was raining. Uh, we don't have much rain in the daytime and the light was so poor I decided to shoot video rather than trying to take photographs in the bad light. The first bird I concentrated on was this lone red knot. It's been on the site since at least Thursday, uh, so for three days. Uh, but you can see that it's spending its time intensively feeding, fattening up in order to continue its journey northwards. From what I can see it seems to be preying on small mollusks and it seems to have quite a high success rate. This bird looks like a male uh, judged by the brightness of its breeding colors and uh, the race is Rogersy. Uh, you can tell it uh, by the very thin central shaft streak on the scapulars, the silvery nape and the largely white vent compared to Piersmae which has thicker black shaft streaks on the scapulars and uh, a browner nape and slightly more chestnut on the vent. Even a heavy downpour doesn't affect the bird, it still seems to be intent on feeding as much as it can. Red knots have one of the largest gizzards of any shorebird and uh, the muscular muscularness of the gizzard enables it to crush mollusks in the gizzard. So it swallows them whole and then crushes them, extracts the nutrients from them and then will reject the uh, non-edible parts and form usually uh, through a pellet that it ejects from the bill. Once the rain had slackened off, the bird finally stopped feeding and began to preen. Fresh water is a rare commodity for shorebirds in a predominantly saltwater environment and so having a bath in fresh water is uh, something that is that will help to keep the, the feathers in good condition and so this bird spends quite a lot of time preening you can see it rubbing its bill on its its uropygial gland which secretes uh, an oily substance which helps to keep the, the feathers waterproof Next to the red knot there are a couple of common green shanks and you can also hear the calls of marsh sandpiper and black wing still in the background. Newcomers to wader watching can find waders very confusing because they tend to look mainly at the colours of the plumage. And the colours of the plumage can be very similar, as you can see from these two birds, with the red shank coming in from the right. It's actually a lot more useful to look at size and structure and shape, uh, including the shape and the length of the bill. So these two birds are very similar in colour, but have a very different shape. The smaller one being much sl more slender, more attenuated, has a smaller head. Also looking at the feeding style in this case, the red knot behind slow, methodical, standing pretty much in one place. The smaller bird, uh, much more active and clearly feeding in a different way. It's not uh, digging deeply into the substrate, it's just dipping its head in and out. Uh, that's a curly sandpiper, a male in full breeding plumage. And now photobombing is a pair of buff banded rails. Buff banded rails are not waders, they're crakes or rails, and they're not migrants. They're actually uh, a recent colonist of Malaysia, of northern Borneo, probably from the Philippines or from Sulawesi, and you can see that they're intent on continuing their expansion. The female is slightly smaller than the male. She has a duller uh, back, and she also has a pale buff band across the breast, which is what gives the species its name. 
Now the male is allopreening, preening the female's neck. It's a form of pair bonding. You can see the red knot in the background and the black wing still in the foreground. The female is on the left. And when she turns round, you'll see the pale buff band across the breast, which the female has, the male of this subspecies does not have. Here's the curly sandpiper again, rather too close for my video. Stunning male in breeding plumage. And in the background, you can hear a palace's grasshopper warbler singing away. It's May the 15th, should be a long way from here by now, but it's hanging on. finish this video with a clip of a small group of redneck stints enjoying the heavy rain. There are still about uh, 20 of these birds hanging on at the wetlands, but again they should be making their way north. Most of them, the duller ones, are uh, birds that are only still in their first 12 months of their life, so they probably won't be going back to the breeding grounds this year. Anyway, that's all. I hope this has given you a snapshot of birding at Palabaram Wetlands in Mary, Northern Morning.